today's adventure is all about. We're going back in to check out Sturgis to see what's going on. And we're going to go on out to the full throttle and see what's going on out there. So stay tuned and watch the video. Hi, my name's Bob. And I'm Tam. And we are Bob and Tam's Excellent, Excellent Adventure. Adventure. So come along today and see where we go. We're at a new restaurant that just kind of opened up almost a year ago. They weren't here for last year's rally, but they're here now for this year's rally. We're at Uncle Louie's Diner. We're going to have them tell you a few words about what they're expecting and what they're going to do here at the rally this year. All right, how we doing, everybody? This is Uncle Louie here at Uncle Louie's Diner. For the rally, we're going to be open 24 hours. That is correct, 24 hours. It's going to be the full menu, same menu, breakfast all day. Anything on the menu you can have. So at 6 in the morning, you want a bacon cheeseburger, you can have that. At 8 o'clock at night, you want bacon and eggs, you can have that. So we're going to have that there. We're going to keep our menu pricing. Our beer pricing is all going to stay the same. I look forward to seeing you all at Uncle Louie's Diner here on Main Street. We did eat here today, and we, were, we finished our plates. Big servings, so you got to check it out. And one of the things I like about Uncle Louie, he doesn't raise his prices up like most of the restaurants here in Sturgis are going to do during the rally. So that happens a lot. So you might want to check this place out, but I'll bet you it's going to get crowded. They got a new statue out here in Sturgis, right here on Main Street. I may butcher this poor guy's name, but his name's Joe Petrelli. He was the champion hill climber, dirt bike racer, who had a long career as a very successful do-it-all racer. And they made a special sculpture just for him. Once again, we are on the corner of Junction and Main Street here in Sturgis, right across the street from the Sturgis Motorcycle Museum. And we got the best. If you need to pick up some food quick, they got it right here at this stand. So when you want to check them out, they got all kinds of good food. And they also have, for those of you that love sweet tea, homemade, freshly brewed, they've got that here too. So check it out. Wait. We're at another location here in Sturgis. We're at the VFW American Legion Hall. What they're having here is they're gonna have breakfast here every morning from, what time are they having it? 11 to seven every day. So you wanna check it out. Their address is? 868 East Main. So you wanna check it out. It's way down here on the other end. It's on the other side of Junction. So come on down here, spend a little bit of money and donate that money right here to the vets. And we need to take care of our vets. So. Make sure you find it. We'll take a shot of the outside so you'll know what it looks like when you're driving up. We're just checking out the inside of the Veterans Hall here. Veterans Club. It's actually, well, they call it the Veterans Club, but it's the VFW and the American Legion all in one building. But one of the things they told us on the way out, just want to give you the, the details, make sure you know all the facts, and that's what's important. They have real china and real silverware. They just wanted to make sure that you know that, that you're not coming here and eating on plastic or paper plates or plastic spoons or forks. And the other thing they wanted to let you know, for that 12 bucks that you get for that breakfast, it's all you can eat. So come on down here. So this is the front of the building behind me. So we're just down the road, looking down that way is the, heading towards Junction. So right here on the corner is Middle Street and Main Street. So come on down here and check them out for their breakfast. Good place to try out. Sturgis is already getting ready for the rally. Look behind me. We found way down here. They even got hand sanitizer already out here on the poles. Keep us clean. We're in the museum at Sturgis, the motorcycle museum. We're going to check it out, let you know what the prices are. You can get in here for one person. It's $10 plus tax. Two is 15. Three is 20. Four is 25 and five is $30. They do give a discount for the military, the seniors, you can get a deal. And the kids, seven and under, they are free with a paying adult. So check it out. It's worth the time while you're in here in Sturgis. Even while you're out here at Sturgis, right outside the museum, you can even get a photo of yourself in the king or queen seat. Okay, here we are at the Full Throttle, Sturgis, South Dakota. 
I'm Gary with Zach's Ice Cream. We make our own ice cream with this 93-year-old John Deere hit and miss engine that turns our churn. So it's all homemade, so you need to come get some right here at the Full Throttle. And we've had their ice cream before, and it's really good. So check out this old John Deere. They have all type of events out here at the Full Throttle. So this week is ATV weekend. So if you have an ATV, you can bring it out here. They made a mud blog and all kinds of neat stuff going on. They also have some events out here. We've got a mini bike deal getting ready to go on with a bearer keg. Might be worth checking out. We've got the setup there for the weenie bite. If you haven't seen one of those, I'm not explaining it to you. You can come out to the full throttle during bike week and they do that event too. Also today, all the vendors are open. We've got the veterans giveaway going on, giving away this motorcycle that's right behind us and all money goes to help house the veterans. We've also got someone out here selling knives and sunglasses. All those vendors are open today. If you want to come out, check it out at the Full Throttle. How you doing there, Sturgis fans, rodeo fans, whoever you are out there, come on down to the Full Throttle Saloon. We got a beautiful 2020 Road Glide Classic Custom that we're going to be giving away with this glass trailer this year. It's five dollars a chance to help out homeless prevention for veterans and families with kids. Anybody this week while they last that buys four tickets for 20 bucks, you get a $20 Sturgis Bike Week shirt for free. But it's a great cause, it's really needed this year, so please come on down. It's a lot of fun here. They got bands every night and a lot of pretty women and a lot of alcohol, which you guys like. Thank you very much. Come on down. We bought our chance to win that bike too. Maybe if we win that bike, we don't need it. Maybe and, we'll give it away. And we deliver it to you for free anywhere in the United States to the closest Harley dealership to your home, Harley and Trailer. It's worth thirty-three thousand dollars. So come on down, guys. There you go. Just for five bucks, or what's it? Four for twenty? And Six free, for twenty. And a free Sturgis shirt goes with it. There you go. What more can you ask for? Right here at the Full Throttle. Can deliver it with Chevy Cups. Our website is chevycups.com. Our email address is hogcups at aol.com. What we sell is drink holders, camera mounts, GPS mounts, phone holders, stun guns, and out the front knives. The quick, most popular item is my quick release drink holder. It's made out of nylon mixed with fiberglass. You can mount it 64 different ways. I'll show you that in a minute. You can put in the 20 ounce. You can put in the McDonald's Starbucks. One liter bottle goes in there. The small Yeti cup, the 20 ounce Yeti. The large Yeti goes in. If you drink a small can or bottle, loose and floppy like that, put your koozie on it. Makes it nice and tight and helps keep it cold. You get 64 different ways you can mount it. You got the gearboxes on the back, 48 and 16 on the bottom. So if you got a different bikes, you can mount it here, whatever angle you want. Put the clamp on there to make this go up high and angle wise to make it fit. The clamp goes from 5 8 to 2 inches. It's got the rubber pads built in, they're, they're bolted in. The threads are in this barrel nut. That acorn nut's always gonna turn. It's there so you don't cut yourself with the raw threads. Just keep turning it like this, and it'll just close up all the way. Get it nice and tight on the bars, then lock it down. If it wants to slip around a little bit, lift it up, take it off. Put some alcohol on a Q-tip, go around the bar, get the wax off, and put this back on. The, the, the rubber will then touch the bar versus the wax. The other item we have is the, our new sun guns. These are ergonomically correct, they fit your hand, lots of sun dips about the size of a pack of cigarettes. This one here is what it is, it has a multi-function, but it has on the off button, on on button rather, it's got a high LED light. Push it all the way, put the lanyard on your wrist, the user puts the lanyard on their wrist, and if somebody were to use it, you, you can use it on something and they grab it and pull it away, it sets the alarm off turn the alarm off there. The other feature of this is most of the time you can't find the charge cord. You go out there and you're trying, well, how do I charge it? How do I charge it? Where's the charge? Where's it at? Don't turn it in. Just push it, push it right there like the socket right there. There's no charge cord that you have to find out. The other item we sell a lot of is our new out the front knives. These are been, these have been patented and been corrected on these. It has a slide spring, a reverse spring, and a forward spring. When it comes back in, it sets a forward spring. When it goes out, it sets a reverse spring. These blades are made out of 440 carbon steel. They hold a really good edge. And the cases are made out of zinc alloy mixed with copper, so they're nice and strong, nice and heavy. 
It's got the glass breaker on the back, which may substitute for a skull cracker, depends on your circumstance. We do it in not five sizes. We do it in the large, in the medium, we do it in the small, the mini, and we have the new one, we're just building up the, the mini Italian stiletto style. This is double sided. They all have what they call a deadfall spring. So see here, you have to worry about it coming open in your personal pocket. Hits that box, bounces right off. Pull it out and reset the blade. So if it comes out, it comes loose, you hit this button by accident. It's not easy to hit it, the button's nice and strong. So you're not gonna just bump it, you have to really be intentionally push the button. $35. It's good down to 10 feet. Below 10 feet, you're going to just need a storm. This part here, we make in our shop in Mississippi with a 3D printer. This we buy offshore, and we make a we make a touch screen on this, so you can actually put your phone in here. There's two different paths. Paths to give it for thinner phones, it gives the pass to give it the thickness, so it pushes it up to the screen. You can operate it right through the screen there. Then we got our traditional chubby cup chrome drink holder, which is this one right here. It's a 64, excuse me, it's six different ways a mounting system. You can mount this on all the, mostly the, the uh, Yamaha, Suzuki, Kawasaki, Hondas, and the Harleys 13 and earlier for the Ultra Classic and Street Glide. And we make the new one here for the 13 and earlier with the thin ball clamp because the Street Glide and Ultras don't have hydraulic clutches. We make a special clamp for the new Road Glide Ultras and the Indians. This is an inch and a half with an inch and quarter sleeve, so you're not metal to metal. Because those bars aren't really round, especially the Harley bars. When they bend those bars, they're egg shaped a little bit. And if you put an inch and quarter clamp on an inch and quarter bar, you're going to put two scores in the bar. Especially if it's black, you're going to scratch your black powder coating. Then the cup will mount. The cup mounts from the side, much like this one right here. Then we have the passenger drink holders. This is my traditional one for 13 earlier for Ultra Classic and, and Road Glide Ultras for 13 earlier. Then for the 14 to 20, we make this one here in our shop in Mississippi. It's 12 gauge, 12 gauge stainless, powder coated. The cups either come in black or they come in chrome. We buy this material from Hobby Lobby in bulk and we cut and make our own liners. You can put the Big Yeti cup in here. But the large Yeti goes right down to the shoulder, just like that. It's nice and tight. You can feel how it's hard. It's very hard to take it out. So it's not going to fly out down the road. It comes with a different liner sheet, but the small bottles, large bottles, everything in there. So that's our, our lineup for this year. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> all righty. We bought all of our cup holders from Cal from Chubby Cups. He's the expert when it comes to finding the right cup holder, right holder for your motorcycle. So come on out here to the full throttle and check out Cal. Today, we went into Sturgis to see what the heck was going on. We found a good restaurant to eat at. We found a place where you guys can have breakfast in the morning. And we also went on out to full throttle. The full throttle is getting going. They got a bunch of vendors going. We actually got to talk to a couple. Did you catch them out? Those are all good ones that we highly recommend. And don't forget to donate to those veterans. And at that, we leave you with this. Thanks for coming along today. Hope you found it informational. Subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, and hit that bell for notifications. And we'll see you on the next video. See you tomorrow.